Did he pick it? Did he pick which sport? You told us last time he's still undecided. Yeah, he's undecided. He like he like basketball. He loved basketball. Basketball is his thing. Uh -huh. So he loved basketball. And uh, I have a son. Uh, his name is Mikael. He's a freshman in high school, and he playing basketball. Uh, one more, I, my daughter, I got to mention her, because she's the only daughter I haven't, I haven't showed you. Her name is Geneva McCall. Mm -hmm. She's a senior in high school now, and oh man, she's amazing. She's uh, about 5'11", 205 pounds, but solid. She, she broke the record. Boys and girls shot put for high school. Mm -hmm. She threw the shot put further than any boy in a whole high school. Oh, you told us that. So she broke the record. Did you find out when the school was built or not? <laughs> right, because I was wondering, well, how long has this school been around? Because, you know, usually boys, you know, should be throwing a shot put, you know, further than uh -huh. the girls. But she broke the record as uh, in a shot put for her school. And uh, God's wish she would be getting a scholarship too. She she's uh, she liked to write poems. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh man, she, she's my heart too. Uh -huh. She's named after my great grandmother. Is that, is that right? This is my brother Frank and my oldest daughter Tawana. Uh, Tawana, she she went to she graduated from college, like I said, uh, for law. She went there for law. Matter of fact, she's thinking about coming down here in Florida and becoming a correctional officer. Mm -hmm. So some type of uh, she, she liked to deal with the law thing, and, and that's good. That's good. She said, "Well, Dad, stay out of trouble." And uh, so I'm happy of that. I'm happy mm -hmm. of that. that that she's going into law and things of that nature. So right. that's them. Right. Now this last one is a very hot topic on Boxing Confidential right now, so I want to ask you this. You know Michael Marley, right? Yes, I know Michael Marley very well. He's the first one that, uh, back when I was spawned with Mike Tyson, he wrote a big article about me saying I beat up Tyson all the time, and I came in the gym and Mike Tyson was reading it. I looked at Mike Tyson, because we boxing today, and I was surprised, you know, he was reading this big article that Mike Marley had wrote about me beating up Tyson. But Tyson gave me pretty much respect. He respected that. Mm -hmm. You guys are good. Well, the, thing, the reason I asked you, Omar, is there's a lot of noise being made on Boxing Confidential right now, where, hey man, uh, Manny Pacquiao's lawyer are trying to set up some sort of street fight, you know? And they're comparing Marley to a gorilla, and <laughs> Pacquiao's lawyer to a kangaroo. You know, so the question is, as someone who is familiar with Teton Marlin, right, do you think Pacquiao's lawyer stands any sort of chance? Well, you know what, I've never really seen this guy, but I know Mike. Mike is a little, little off the hook when it comes. It's like he will throw some punches. So uh, Mike kind of be easy on this guy, man. You know, <laughs> Mike is a nice guy, and, and, I, and I've been knowing Mike for, for many years, mm -hmm. and uh, we've traveled together on many occasions. And uh, I have much respect for him. And uh, so be easy on this guy, or this lawyer. And remember, he's a lawyer. He, have, he don't know about fight game like you do. Mm -hmm. Well, the question is, also another question. If you're coaching this guy, what would you tell him against Mike? How would you tell him to fight him? Well, I'd I tell him to uh, say his back hurt. <laughs> like all the other champions that don't want to fight somebody. <laughs> you know, I do like Vitaly's done uh, Haseen Rockman. My back hurt. I do like Ole Vasquez doing Serie B. My bad. I see you later. So, uh, but not disrespecting them. They champions. Uh, so they're champions, and, and once you're a champion, you're always a champion. You know? So I give much respect to Ole Vasquez. I mean, both of the, the Tally brothers, you know. I mean, the Klitschko brothers. So you know, that's just a joke, y'all. Yeah, I know. We're just fooling around here. <laughs> Check out Boxing Confidential for more yes. on that one. All right, well, Oliver, the last thing we want to ask is, what do you want to say in closing to the fans who see this on our site on YouTube? You know, who would you like to thank to get you in this, you know? Well, first, first of all, I, I just really want to thank Mike Marley first. You know, uh, I haven't seen him in a while, and, and uh, much love to you, Mike. And stay out the ring, you know, you, you know, stay out the ring. So, and take it easy on the guy. And I just want to say hello to all the fans and thank you all for the support and, uh, you know, I just love boxing. I'm just thankful and grateful that I'm still here and you know, able to compete at this level, at this age. And uh, I still think I got some great fights coming. Yeah. So thank you all out there. Thank you. Check out boxingconfidential.com for more. Yeah.